Darkness surrounds us, like the void of the uncharted night. In the heart of Nepal, a solitary figure named Ashwin embarks on a quest, a journey not just across landscapes, but through the labyrinth corridors of his own mind. The Himalayas loom, majestic and enigmatic, their peaks veiled in mist, as if guarding ancient secrets. Ashwin's footsteps echo against the rugged terrain, a whisper in the grandeur of nature's symphony. Time blurs, merging past and present. Flashes of Ashwin's mentor, an old monk named Pema, interlace with his steps. Pema's voice resonates, soft yet profound. To journey within, one must first unravel the veils of the external. Ashwin's path converges with the serene monastery. Pema sits, his eyes a pool of wisdom, reflecting the universe's secrets. Attachment clouds the mirror of the mind. Let go, and clarity shall emerge. Ashwin gazes at the world below from a hill, a vibrant tapestry of colors, the bustling village of Pangbuch, unfurls beneath him. The wind whispers truths only the soul can decipher. Ashwin's restless mind slows, transcending into stillness. Within the silence, the pulse of existence reverberates. Through contemplation, Ashwin perceives the interconnectedness of all things. A stone dropped into the river creates ripples that mirror life's reverberations. Pema's voice returns, guiding Ashwin's introspection. In each pebble lies the mountain's essence. In each moment, the universe resides. Ashwin seeks solitude in a sacred cave. The walls seem to hold echoes of Aeon's past. The flicker of a candle unveils ancient inscriptions. As his gaze fixates on the inscriptions, their meanings become whispers in his heart. Time converges into a singular point, and Ashwin's awareness expands beyond self. Pema says, in the stillness, truth emerges. In detachment, the self dissolves. Ashwin's journey becomes a dance of realization. In a clearing, amidst beautiful flowers, he finds a wounded bird. Cradling it, he experiences a surge of compassion, an understanding of the delicate threats connecting life. The bird's recovery unfolds as a metaphor for his own healing, a reminder that scars are maps of resilience. The skies overhead mirror his journey from darkness to light. Pema's presence becomes a part of every breath. In a dreamlike state, Ashwin revisits pivotal moments of his travels. Pema's guidance illuminates each memory with newfound significance. Pema says, the tapestry of existence is woven with threads of change. Embrace impermanence, for therein lies liberation. High in the Himalayas, atop a peak touched by the first rays of dawn, Ashwin and Pema reunite. Timelessness embraces them, and the boundaries between pupil and mentor blur. Pema says, in unity, we transcend the illusion of separation. In the embrace of the present, we find eternity. As the sun rises, casting an ethereal glow upon the land, Ashwin's journey comes full circle. His quest, intertwined with the essence of the Himalayas, echoes like a melody throughout time. This story concludes, but the resonance lingers a testament to the eternal echoes of wisdom and a seeker's journey through the enigma of existence. You see in life, in your life, detaching from attachments and desires 
allows the mind to find clarity and inner peace. It is the interconnectedness of all living things, just as dropping a stone in a river creates ripples that spread. Our actions and choices have far-reaching consequences. This wisdom endures through time, transcending generations. The pursuit of knowledge and self-awareness is a timeless endeavor that echoes across the ages.